Hey everybody, Tin Man here. Welcome to my easy cooking channel. I just got back from the store and I picked up this nice two pound tri-tip roast. So uh, let's get that thing unwrapped and get it ready to cook. Now I've bought a lot of tri-tips and sometimes they hide the fat on the, on the underside. Or I got this one at Sprouts Market, so let's see how that is. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, it's all trimmed up nicely. Sometimes I've bought these and had to cut like a half a pound of fat off of them. That's beautiful. I rub both sides of this tri-tip with some olive oil. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle some California barbecue rub on both sides. Alrighty, we'll flip that over and do the other side. Okay, I set my oven temperature to 325 degrees and I stuck a meat thermometer right in the center of this. Um, it's not really very thick, so I don't think it'll take that long to cook. Probably not more than an hour or so. I'm just going to cook it till the temperature on the, thermometer, on the thermometer hits about 125 degrees, which is kind of a medium rare. Okay, it's been half an hour, and I can see that the thermometer reads about 125, 130. So that's how it looks here. Looks nice. Smells great. That rub smells really good. So, um, two pound roast. So, half an hour, about 15 minutes per pound is about what it took. Um, if you like your meat a little more done, you might want to cook it to 130 or 140 degrees. But I'm just going to shut this off. Then I'm going to pull it out and just cover it in foil and probably let it sit for an hour or so because I'm going to make sandwiches out of it. This smells really good. Now, that's not going to be as pretty as if you did it on your grill or whatever, but it's a real easy way to to cook it. Now I'm just going to wrap it in foil and let it sit there. So I took some foil and I just covered that meat right there on the tray and by the time I covered up the thermometer already read 135 degrees so the temperature is still climbing. And then I got this nice loaf of San Francisco style sourdough bread and I'm going to make a nice uh, deli style sandwich with it. Okay so this sat covered with foil for about 45 minutes. The thermometer read 140 just now when I pulled the foil off but Look how nice and juicy this looks. We all, we all know the ends are always more cooked in the middle, so I'm just going to cut it right down the middle and we'll see uh, how it looks in the center. Cut through here. Okay. That's how it looks, huh? Looks pretty nice, huh? Kind of a nice medium rare. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to cut some up and make a nice sandwich out of it. I put this on a plate to finish cutting it up. But before I cut it, I just wanted to show you guys, look at all the juice. Look how juicy that meat is. Now one thing, this is a fresh tri-tip too. It's never been frozen, so I think that makes a big difference. Okay, so here's a sandwich I put together. We got the San Francisco sourdough bread. And that looks like a lot of bread, but it's really light and airy. It's really good bread. It's not too much bread. And down on there we got some mayonnaise and mustard, a bunch of that nice tri-tip, slice of Havarti cheese, um, some sliced tomatoes from my garden, and some avocado. And you know, that's too pretty to even try to take a bite of because I know it's going to go everywhere. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that picture in mind. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.